Now if I would just fill, oh, there we go, there we go. How's it going, everyone? You're watching the Green Dream Project. Jim here, and this is unfamiliar territory. I don't know <laughs> what's going on here. Beautiful pieces of artwork up there, a mini split. We don't have any mini split work. I'm actually here in St. David in our neighbor's trailer. Our St. David neighbors, <laughs> Pam and Brian Price. You can't see them, they're all fuzzy. But guess what? Our first live stream coming up this upcoming Saturday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we're not gonna just do it uh, by ourselves. We're not gonna do it with just one other channel. We're gonna do a three channel extravaganza. So Brian and Pam Price here, other off-grid homesteaders, doing it up. Hello. And you guys have just started your uh, your journey about the same time we did ours, huh? We did. We're a we're a year in the in the trailer, just over a year in the trailer. You guys excited about the live stream? Super excited. Never done it. I'm it's very excited. A, it's gonna be a new experience for everyone. I am very excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Anybody watch Borat? That's a, that's a little Borat. <laughs> my name is Borat. All right. So. Definitely check out these guys' channel. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and prepare some questions for Saturday. It should be a fun time. Oh boy, questions. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to talk this time. If Brian will let me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Pete. We'll have unfiltered Pam. That could be I'm, dangerous. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no. This could be dangerous. We now return you to our regular scheduled program. All right. So the wind out here is just absolutely crazy. Could be up to 30 miles per hour. Blown over our ladders, tripods. Luckily it hasn't blown Jess away. She's still out there hard at work. Digging out this trench. Every time we make a trip, we gotta pack up so we all got with us. Mainly water for food, right? We had a little small plastic bowl, but he chewed them up this morning. We're heading out this morning. We're heading to Sierra Vista. It's a big day. We plan on making kind of a big expenditure, at least for us. It's kind of funny how uh, like a one hour trip seems like a big adventure. We don't like to do it, but sometimes you got it. All right, we're heading out to Sierra Vista. We're here at Lowe's. Lowe's is our first stop. You excited to be here? We don't like shopping, <laughs> but it's a necessary evil. We gotta find the right tool for the right job, you know what I mean? All kinds of trees, but we came here for a purpose. We can't be by trees, right? Yeah. Rose has got rain collection. Just we came up for See, look, those have faces. Powerful. I see when it comes to a certain price, it's called a tilling. And then when it's cheaper, it's called a cultivator. All right, so we just got done at Lowe's. Uh, not, not much of a surprise. Yeah, we needed, a, we wanted a little more information before making a purchase like this. Yeah, it's not the employee's fault. There's a lot, a lot of equipment in these stores. They just don't have the experience sometimes with some of this equipment. So they didn't really have the information that we were looking for. And we're just trying to make the best decision possible before splurging like this. We're not getting the specific information we need. So now we're gonna try the comp. That's short for competition. You ready? You ready to hit the, uh, the people in orange? Because the people in blue didn't help. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so we are at Home Depot. We're gonna see if they can uh, help us out. We need some answers. So we went to the competition, and we did find someone that was a lot more helpful. 
definitely had some knowledge on the uh, the machines. He was able to give some some practical advice, and we made our choice. We're the brand new owners of a tiller. Never something I thought I'd buy. <laughs> Should be interesting. Uh, all right. I think we're ready to go back. with all the wind. Could be all right. All right, so we had to take this to the inside. Why? Because it is crazy windy out. Have you ever seen wind like this so far? Yes. I was gonna say it's not often, but yeah, it's, especially in the springtime, those winds are just ruckus. They are ruckus. All right, so we wanted to talk a little bit about what we got out there. So we got, we picked up a tiller. As far as gardening goes, we probably are looking to do more of a no-till. Yeah, so why why would no-till gardeners pick up a tiller? To dig ditches. That's one no. reason. <laughs> now there might be other reasons, but um, we want to talk a little bit about uh, appropriate technology. Now this is not appropriate. <laughs> so like obviously a tiller is no substitution for a ditch witch. Obviously that's what the tool was designed for and that would ultimately be your best bet to dig ditches. But we picked up a tiller. We felt it was appropriate for us at this time. Right? Yeah, it's appropriate for us at this time. We didn't want to buy a ditch witch. We don't got that many ditches to dig. Maybe. And that many monies. Yeah, like, so to rent a ditch witch plus something to like a ramp to be able to get it into the truck would have been phenomenal. Like, so for that same price, we picked up a tiller, which we can might then maybe use for multiple applications around here. It's more lightweight. It's something that I can handle. This is still gonna take a lot longer than if we had like a ditch witch, but way quicker than you would have been able to do by hand, right? <laughs> We have some projects that we want completed soon. Time is of the essence. Otherwise, it wouldn't be as big of a deal, but you know, I'm working on this rain roof, so she's pretty much took it upon herself to get this garden started, and you want to get things growing sooner rather than later. <laughs> so we felt it was an appropriate expenditure. We talk about uh, the term appropriate technology, and it's uh, you find it a lot in you know talking about permaculture you get the idea in permaculture that you want to keep things as simple as possible that maybe you don't want to bring in a like a lot of large tools or equipment to do that to do as much by hand some people or like really let nature do the work let na you. yeah but uh, we are in an age of some miraculous technology in a permaculture design, if you can utilize some of this technology, and at least in a short term, to help bring productivity to your land much sooner, those might be appropriate. If you're doing it in a responsible way, because if you're doing things by hand or you're letting nature kind of take its course, obviously nature has its own timeline and it might be years and years. I gotta wash my face. <laughs> Yeah, the wind has just been like you're outside for a little bit and you get sand in your eyes and mouth and pores and oh. So we gotta go. Uh, so yeah, big news, the garden is being built. Jessica is working hard on that. And again, like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, we're going live. So this Saturday, 5 p.m. Pacific time, we're gonna be there. It's gonna be the Green Dream Project midlife prices and the upside of downsizing. Wow, it's gonna be crazy. So definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, if you like gardening, share this with a friend or two because they need to know about appropriate technology and how it can benefit them in their design. Leave a comment down below. 
Let us know how crazy it is to be digging ditches with tillers. <laughs> <laughs> and you can find us on facebook instagram and twitter thanks a lot for joining us everyone we'll catch you on the next video bye